When I first posted my nighttime skincare routine with Korean rituals and skincare products that involved 10 steps, people thought that it was a process and at the end of the night when you're feeling so exhausted and you barely have energy to even shower, how can you manage in a full skincare ritual? So here I am to tell you that I've broken it down to the main essentials, a few simple steps, four, maybe five, the last one is optional depending on your skin condition. And I will also time myself and go through my entire skincare ritual so that you can see that it doesn't take up a lot of time. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, click subscribe so that you can be a member of this community and get more notifications of future videos to come. So let's get into the steps, let's do this. First one is the double cleanse. Um, today I'm wearing a little bit of makeup and eyelashes so this will come in handy along with a cleansing foam and I picked some smart ones that double up as an exfoliator. Then I follow up with a chemical exfoliant. This is one of those magic steps for our nighttime routine that helps with cell rejuvenation and turnover and it's really minimal amount of work because you don't have to wash these off, you just apply it and go straight to bed. And then finally when you're using a chemical exfoliator, I want to recommend a really good high quality moisturizer. Totally optional but it's a sleeping mask. This one is filled with yuja and I've grown to really love it. What I want to do in this video is I'm going to actually time myself as I go through each of the skincare rituals. I won't be talking as much but there are some key things that I want to make sure that I get the message through and that's really the technique. So the first is never washing my face vigorously or pulling my skin downwards. That's a number one motion that I've really gotten into the habit of. Even when I splash water on my face, you'll see that I go upwards like this. Another key technique is, is that when I'm patting the skincare products onto my face, I try to avoid putting them on my hands because it really takes up a lot of product that way. And um, by using your fingertips, you can also control the angles a little bit better by patting it on this way as opposed to this way. Um, also, when I'm lathering and using cleansing foam, you apply the product onto the fingertips first and then lather before putting it on the face. Um, that not only feels a lot more nicer, you get that rich sud feeling on your face, but it also helps with making sure that you're not, again, being too abrasive on your cheeks or other sensitive areas like your eyes. And then finally, when I layer on the products, I like to keep in mind to go with the lightest texture first. So like the chemical exfoliants tend to be a watery gel substance. And then I put on the rich moisturizers last. And that's because the smaller and finer the texture is, the better it absorbs and you want to layer on um, a, a, the thicker shield afterwards. If you put the thicker shield on first, then it prevents all the other things that you're putting on after it to be absorbed into the skin. First and foremost, I'd like to wash my hands and at the end of the night, I know it's really tempting to really skip steps and fast forward, but hand washing is something, especially at the end of the night, you don't know how many things you've touched and you don't want to get those dirty bacteria filled fingertips onto your face. So let's So now my hands are clean and I'm actually going to start timing myself. So let's do this.
that's it. And there I am. About five minutes or so, and I was able to do a full cleanse of my face, remove my makeup, do the double cleanse, apply the AHA chemical exfoliant, and then also moisturize. I've gotten to know my skin pretty well, and the products that I've selected have lasted through the test of time, producing really great results. This sleeping mask really helps me get a bit of radiance when I wake up the next morning, and it could be the combination of the chemical exfoliant, which I only use every other day, but it could also be the fact that I am very thoroughly cleansing away all the makeup and impurities. So doing the double cleanse is really a critical step. Even if you are just wearing sunscreen, you don't want any of the SPF, a lot of the SPF, they tend to just sit on your skin like a shield. So you don't want that to accumulate over time to clog your pores. So a double cleanse is pretty essential. And given that um, the benefits that I see, I really do think that it is worthwhile. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you feel that a nighttime routine is essential and if so, what part you would never skip. I'd love to hear from you. So leave me a comment and I'll see you next time with better skin. Have a great night, everyone.